This library is very close to my heart. I have researched in this library for more than half a century. Hebrew Union College was the first permanent Jewish institution of higher learning in America. Its library holds rare manuscripts, books, and special collections. While it's physically in Cincinnati, it inspires work all over the world. Jewish history professor Dr. Michael Meyer worries about what's next. I am fearful that this library will not be able to continue to be what it was for me for so many years. He and Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost worry the school could try to sell some of the sacred items. In court documents, Yost asks a Hamilton County judge for a temporary restraining order. If granted, it could halt the sale of any ancient books held at the library. The documents say the school invited Sotheby's auction house out of New York to value certain items in the collection. An HUC spokesperson says they have no plans to sell any rare books or manuscripts. In a statement, the spokesperson said, quote, the premise that a scholarly evaluation of the collection equates with the decision to sell the collection is patently false. It is institutional best practice in library management to assess collections which had not been done regularly in the past. Okay. The school tells me that they have no plans to sell. Do you believe them? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's possible that they were planning to do it and now they've changed their mind uh, and therefore are not currently planning to do it. I certainly hope that's the case. Attorneys for the state and the college had a scheduled hearing this morning to discuss that restraining order request, but instead the judge met with both parties and chambers and they decided to come back and meet on July 12th. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.